DaVinci Resolve for noobs. If you've got a piece of footage and you want to change somebody's eye color, one way to do that is to head over to the color page, make sure you have your clip selected, and let's go up to the upper right node area, right click, and let's add a serial node right here. Now with that serial node selected, let's go down to our power window section, click on that, and let's click on the circle window. Now we've talked about power windows before. They're basically a masking area that'll allow the software to focus on a certain area inside of your footage. I'm going to keep this fairly large for the moment to capture a good size area up into our eyebrow and eyelid area. Now let's switch over to the tracker option and let's track that power window backwards and forwards throughout the clip. Once that's all tracked, you can actually adjust this power window and make it a little smaller so it's only going to affect a smaller area more towards the center of her eye. And you'll see the tracking still applies and follows her eye. Now the next thing we want to do is select the qualifier, that little eyedropper right there, bring it up into your preview window, and let's left click and hold and drag around the color the center of her eye. When we release, you'll see that it has selected that color. To check it out, you can actually go to the upper left and swap into highlight mode and you'll see exactly what it's selected. Just her eye color inside of that power window. Now there's a little bit outside of her eye that got selected here, so let's go down and go to the qualifier minus, the picker subtract, and let's draw over some of the areas we don't want to have selected, that little outside of her eye right there. And that'll remove those extra areas. And if you play through, even though those lines don't move, they are following that tracker and you'll see we've eliminated some of the extra. Let's turn off highlight mode, go back to the beginning. If you don't want to see those lines, you can just switch to any one of the other options. I'll go back to the color curves. But now with all of that selected in her right eye, I'm going to change the color of that eyeball. Let's grab some of the gamma, the midtones, and let's push it towards green. And you'll see her eye slowly change over towards green. Now you can adjust this any way you want using any of the lift, gamma, or gain, depending on how bright you want that green to be using the low, mids, and highs. And you'll see back on the edit page, when you play this footage through, sure enough, one of her eyes has been changed to green and that color correction follows her blinking pattern. 